What was the inspiration behind your new exhibition, Uninterrupted? Lindsay, for about 15 years, I had this absolutely wonderful life as an investment banker and as an artist, and both of which I pursued with equal dedication. And then my corporate career ended and I went through a more tumultuous period in my life. For example, uh, my phone was snatched, my house was ransacked, and one day, in broad daylight, like three o'clock in the afternoon, two men came and they physically attacked me. You're making it sound really, really, really calm. It doesn't, you're making oh, it, it was, sound too no, calm. No, it was not calm. It was horrible. It really was horrible. And uh, I, I actually ended up in Chelsea Westminster Hospital. Luckily, no broken bones, but quite traumatized. In fact, I was so traumatized that for a long time after, uh, my friends had to come take me for a walk, literally like people take dogs out for a walk. I used to live in my flat with my blinds down. I had to be taken out to shop for groceries. But I have to say that in times like this, you learn who are your friends and how rock solid your support is. And my friends and family were absolutely brilliant. It gave me so much strength. And this is what makes you look inward and this is what makes you calm because then you know you can deal with just about anything and it also makes you realize that every time there is a door that closes in your life perhaps the closed door is actually showing you the way forward so this tumultuous time that you went through did any painting come out of that any sketches, any sort of um, outlet for inner turmoil? Yes, and this is what is all in uninterrupted. Uh, for example, I've got a whole, whole body of works there called The Race to Nowhere. And you ask yourself this question when your life is not perfect. And I went through a very cathartic process and you have to see the good in the world. You have to see the good in people. You have to see the good in life. And uninterrupted deals with this entire journey. When doors close, when dark things happen, how can you liberate yourself and come out of it stronger as a human being? And do you change parts, do you not? And these are the themes that I've explored in this exhibition.